Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the first annual NBMAP Distinction and Mentorship Award. We're here at the Distinction Awards for mentoring. Why would NBCC partner with us for their apprentice course? Well, we think it makes better apprentices. They, they learn and develop quicker and they turn into better journey people. If you had any tips to give new apprentice, the new generation coming in skill trades, what would you tell them? Continue to learn, continue to develop. The trades change all the time, so keep learning. Um, Marky Construction was one of the first companies to integrate NBMAP mentoring program. Yes. Why was mentoring so important to Marky Construction? Because for years, as simple as it may sound, we've always had mentors, but nobody ever thought to take the time to train them, educate them, tell them what we expected of them, give them guidance on how they can mentor. Exactly. So uh, the mentorship is filling that much needed void, and it's incredible. Women numbers in construction industry is are very low, and we started the New Boots program. How do you feel about more women integrating skilled trades, and why is it important to get more women into the trades? Well, I think this is this is a great thing. We're going to be short tradespeople in this province, mm -hmm. and I think if we can get women involved, women are out looking for jobs. Why shouldn't they be in the trades? You know, there's everything might not be suited to a particular lady, mm -hmm. but. It's all good work, it's good money, and uh, they can do it just as well as men. Like welders, women make better welders than men, and I'm a welder. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good comment right there, but it came from your mouth, not <laughs> mine. Yeah. So congratulations on a great event tonight, and enjoy your evening. Okay, thank, thank you, you. Very much. Why was mentoring so important to Irving Oil that they brought an NBMAP program for their journey persons and apprentice? Well, as you're probably aware, we've got a number of uh, new apprentices on site a number of them through the NBTAP program, yes. but some also outside of that program. So there's a number of uh, new apprentices uh, that need a lot of mentoring. So it seemed to be a natural fit when they offered this program. Excellent. And when you think about new apprentices coming in skill trade, what kind of advice or tips would you give them to succeed in apprenticeship? Well, I think the biggest thing that aligns up with this program is to really lean on a mentor. I mean, uh, it's one thing to get the technical training in the school uh, piece of it, but more importantly, we're trying to get the mentors to make sure they're passing on sort of their life lessons, how to work in the workplace, how to get along with others, how to troubleshoot, some of the softer skills. So yes. I think that's really important for the mentors to understand it's, it's way more than just the technical training. How do you feel about the first annual mentoring award? Well, uh, the night is still young. I think we better answer that question later, but so far the industry support we've had, the support from the building trades, the support we have, we have mentors here tonight, I know we're going to have an apprentice here tonight, so that's what makes me feel proud is that they're embracing our program and that they believe in us. How do you feel about this annual distinction award for mentoring? I think this is fantastic. Uh, some of the best stories that I've heard since we've started with the mentoring program is the fact that when you talk to some skilled tradespeople who are good at their jobs and now they understand and they realize that they're really they're a teacher. They're somebody who is going to impart their knowledge to somebody and what an important role that they play. This is just a great opportunity to help to recognize them for the work that they do. And I know NBMAP Teen appreciates the collaboration partnership we have with the Pedal Branch, so great to have you here this evening. Have a good night. Thank you very much. What are the advice you would tell an, a, a youth going into apprenticeship how to succeed in their apprenticeship? I think some of the best advice I could give them would be to, to pay attention to their journeymen and pay attention to the people around them and really soak up that knowledge. It's so important. I, I can't stress that enough that I believe if they had the right attitude, the right positive attitude, that so many of our great tradesmen are so willing to pass on that knowledge mm -hmm. to them. 